poorly built. Oh gosh, <laughs> the, the landing gear just fell off. Oh no. Doesn't matter, let's just do it and see what happens. That's what's great about simple planes is you just do it and see what happens. Oh yeah. Now I want to show you what it's like to actually use it and we'll build our first airplane together, your first airplane. So you can follow along with me if you want to you get your feet wet so it doesn't seem so intimidating. All right, let's get into it. Here we are in simple planes. Let's click the play button. Now you have all these different options you can do, like you can do the school, like how to, how to start out doing this stuff. You can do races, you can do combat, you can do challenges. And I really haven't done much of any of that because I love doing the build and fly section right here. So let's get into this. So here, this right here is your workspace, okay? So you've got, uh, this is actually a, like a, a preloaded plane that they have on here. This is a P-51. Now on this right hand bar, this is kind of your main, uh, these are your main options for selecting different things. So if, at the top here, it'll open up this bar on the left and you've got all these different options here. Most importantly, you have a start a new aircraft, uh, save the current aircraft, and then load a, an old aircraft. So if we wanted to load, say, I don't know, the Citation Fighter or maybe the Dragon Wing, something like that. Gyrocopter, that's one I've been working on. That's a fun one right there. Look at that thing. <laughs> so stupidly large yeah i think that prop is probably a little bit too large but we're not going to focus on any of these interesting planes today what we're going to do is actually start a new airplane so let's go over here and let's click start a new aircraft create a new aircraft now so here we are, we've got our cockpit. Now you have to have a cockpit. So that's something to keep in mind is that you need to have this little cockpit right here. And what you can do is you can drag items by clicking on them and, and holding it down and dragging them. And sometimes the items stick together and you might come across that. And I think you need to hit control to separate the items and then click it. I'm not sure if we come across that, I will be sure to let you know though. And so what we're going to do, probably the easiest way you can actually start building the airplane is to just left or right click, just right click on an object and that will duplicate it. And then you can just drag it wherever you want it to go. So if we, you know, if we wanted this to be our airplane fuselage, we could do that. Or if you want to get a little fancy, what we can do is go over to our right hand menu right here and click on the plus, click on the plus sign. And then we can go, these are all the different uh, items that we all the different airplane parts so first we want structural because we're talking about the actual fuselage or the, the structure of the airplane so we have fuselage block and it's basically just a big round block thing kind of there we go let's bring it up a little bit and I'm zooming with the wheel on my mouse is that's that's how I'm zooming and so what we can do is actually double click on that item and then we can select like this whole portion and we can change the length so we can actually make the length like a lot longer. It goes up to 10. So we could make it that long. And then what we could do is go backwards and then select how large we want the back portion to be, which is actually really cool. And then we could go forwards as well. We could change that if we want it to be different also. So we can actually have like a sloped structure right there. And then we could take our, let's see when you say done, we can take our uh, cockpit and then put it on this structure. And then let's say we want, let's see, maybe we want to actually duplicate this. You know, you could do that. No, I don't want to duplicate that. So we'll get rid of it. That's how you get rid of stuff. You drag it over here to the top right corner when you're holding it down and you just drop it right in there, just like that. So let's say we move the cockpit like right there. That looks pretty good. It's not super great. So now what we need, let's see, let's get a, let's get an engine on this thing. So let's go over to propulsion and we're gonna, let's just go with a regular old engine. Yeah, now you can actually do uh, helicopter stuff, which is really cool. Or you can do jet engines, car engines for if you wanna make cars, cause you can make cars, that's super cool. So let's go over here and we'll just get the Blade T1000 and we'll just stick that on the front there. And then you can kind of, you know, adjust it to make sure that it fits exactly. Another thing, well, no, we'll save that for later because we'll keep it a little bit simpler for right now. So let's see, let's get, you know what we need? We probably need some wings. That's probably exactly what we need. So we can go over here to the primary wing 
and we can put that on here and this little part is your control surface this uh, darker part <clears throat> so what we can do is double click on the wing and we can actually change the the sweep of the wing the length of the wing um, the 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 size of the root of the wing and the tip of the wing which is just really really cool so we could give it like a little bit of sweep right there maybe bring it down there a little bit more you know make it make it a pretty fat wing you could do all kinds of different stuff and then what you can also do is actually when you're when you have the wing or part selected you can click on this right uh, the part properties and you can actually so you can change the wing shape you can change the dihedral which is how much kind of up angle it has so to speak so you could give it some dihedral we could give it dihedral just like that you can change how much fuel is in the wing which if you look at the bottom of the screen that's going to change the total weight of the aircraft which is really cool so let's say it's like 11 gallons or something like that you can also change the airfoil shape so if you want it flat bottom to have a lot of lift or symmetric so that you have very little lift or semi-symmetric so you have like kind of in between and then we can also edit the control surface shape so the larger the control surface the more control we're going to have so we could you know let's make it pretty darn huge well we don't need to make it that huge let's make it like that i suppose this will be the aileron okay and then what we need to do let's put let's see and we're just going to leave it like this for now because let's see we need to add a vertical stabilizer so this is going to keep our airplane flying straight double click on that we can change the shape we can make it however we want bigger larger anything we want and that looks pretty good like that and then we need a horizontal stabilizer which is also going to incorporate our elevator so we can put that on the back just like so that's actually a pretty good pretty good size we could change that if we wanted to and what we can do for these parts see so we can actually duplicate it to the other side of the aircraft so now we have a perfectly mirrored uh, horizontal stabilizer which is which is super cool because it'll save you a lot of time and like for this wing for example I don't have to start from scratch with a new wing and then like you know have to put in the the, the size of the of the control surfaces and stuff like that we can just go boom there we go look at that guy now another really cool thing that you can do and this will you'll get better at this um, as you as you build more and you press space bar okay and then this is going to show you your center of mass in the red your center of lift in the blue and then your center of thrust in the yellow so right now our center of mass is really far forward of the center of lift and that can, you, generally you always you always want it farther forward than your center of lift but it could be a problem if it's too far forward but anyway we'll just leave it the way it is and just see what happens when we start to fly it so then say what let's put some landing gear on here because landing gear is fun because then we can actually land and, and take off from the runway and I think we should put let's use this let's do some wing landing gear and we'll put this gear like I don't know right there it's hard, kinda hard to tell would that work well that'd probably be good let's just do that let's put that there let's mirror it to the other side okay and then let's do we could just have we could have it just drag the tail or we could put a tail wheel I don't know it's kind of big yeah that's actually kind of kind of large huh it's kind of awkward looking it's also not attached <laughs> okay there we go say what no let's get rid of that I don't want that let's put let's just do one of these little dual wheels on the bottom it's kind of weird but it doesn't matter let's just do it and see what happens that's what's great about simple planes is you just do it and see what happens all right, I think we're good to go. We have a cockpit, we have an engine. Oh, also check this out with the engine. You can go under the, the part properties. You can change the horsepower for how powerful it is. You can change the blade diameter and you don't want it to be so large that it hits something like on the ground, that, that would be bad. Uh, you can change the thickness, you can change the blade count. How cool is that? That's pretty darn cool if you ask me. Uh, you can change the shape. I think that's just more for fun. I don't think it actually has a impact on it, but all kinds of different properties. I mean, I'm telling you, you just there's like no end to to all the different combinations you can have. All right, so let's actually test this thing out 
I'm gonna turn on my transmitter here. Right now I'm using the Flysky FSI-6. I have it hooked up to the computer using the simulator cable. And I'll have a link to the simulator cable in the description if you need that. I think it's like the Flysky SM100. All right, so let's hit play and see what we get. So right now we're on short final. Whoa there. I'm having to pull up a lot. Let's give it some power, see what happens. Okay. Oh my. Okay. Yeah, we have a lot of... It's very nose heavy. Very, very nose heavy. Look at that coming in there. That's cool. All right, let's land this thing. Let's see how she lands. Come on now. Oh no. Oh. Okay. All right, so... It looks like our landing gear is a little bit uh, too far aft. So I'm going to hit menu here and then hit exit. And let's see, because this, this is a pretty common thing that you might run into. So our landing gear is kind of far back. Let's move it. Let's move it more like up here a little bit. And what we'll do, let's see, let's mirror this. So that might help a little bit. And then I think what we should do is actually move the cockpit because the cockpit actually weighs like quite a bit. And so we can move it back. You see how our the, the, the red moved back there? So now our center of gravity is not so far forward. So we can move it back. Let's move it back like that much. So something like this kind of configuration will probably get uh, a lot of speed. So let's try that out. Let's see how that works. And let's do that again. I know this is such a like poorly built. Oh gosh, <laughs> the, the landing gear just fell off. Oh no, oh no, that's not good. That is not good. Okay, that's problematic. Hang on, let's let's restart that. Okay, sometimes that happens too, where you're you think a part is actually connected, but it has to be green. It has to show up in green for it to actually be connected. And I have had that happen. I I don't know if it's like a glitch or like that. Yeah, it's like even if sometimes you have to manually move it. It's, it's pretty funny. Okay, all right, let's do this again. Here we go. Let's see, orbit view, let's make it like that. Pulling back a lot. We still have quite a bit of, of nose, nose weight. So, oh my gosh, ooh, this thing, the control services are really big too. All right, let's come in here for a landing. Let me, oh, let me bleed off the speed here. Oh wow! Oh, you see that those landing gear squish? Oh gosh! Oh no! Oh dang! I was pulling back on the elevator like as much as I could, but um, just didn't really work out super great. Okay, so check this out. What we can do, all right? So one of the ways of fixing that, we could shorten the overall airplane it's already pretty short honestly so what we can do here is let's do this let's move this like more forward and so what that's going to do is it's going to move the pivot point for the landing gear there's actually going to be more weight on the back side now than the front side and i'll just get rid of this and then to make sure that this to make sure that the wing and the landing gear are in the same spot i'll just mirror them to the other side just like that so now let's also see so now the red is actually a little bit farther back that's our center of uh, center of mass. So that might work. That could work. Let me do one more thing here. Let me change this. So what we can do is go to part properties, go to edit shape. And this is our aileron. This is our roll. So let me make this smaller and actually not quite far, so far out. And that's going to give us more control on the roll. It won't be um, won't be so dramatic every time we move it so actually let's 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 just uh mirror that again okay good so that should be good i think the tail will be okay if we can get the balance right because it's all about the balance let's try this again oh yeah look at that i'm not even pulling back on the elevator at all let's let's do an orbit view right here so you can just change the views and, and move it around look i can pretty much glide this thing in actually oh look at that that is honestly that's like one of the most fun things you can do is just build something and just try and like see if you can glide it in. It's so much fun. All right, here we go. Oh yeah. Oh dang, look at that. That looks awesome. That looks awesome. All right, we're going to take off. You ready? Here we go. 
We're taking off. Just full power. Full power. Oh, she's taking off. The tail's coming up. There we go. Woo! Okay. Dang, look at that climb. Mmm. Mmm. Alright, so I'm going to hit G to make the gear come up. And, oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Okay. I kind of thought that might happen. The, there was not enough room for the gears, so they were hitting each other and uh, causing a disturbance in the force, and uh, so we almost crashed. But that's okay, though. So that we'll just say they're like fixed gear. So anyway, once you actually build something, then you can start flying around. Let's change the camera angle. So you have the flyby. Get those awesome shots. Or you can do cockpit view. Just like that. Dang, we're cruising along here at, uh, at about 290 miles per hour. That's pretty good. And then chase view. And then you can also use your mouse to adjust the chase view to you know line it up however you like. So I know this airplane, you know, that we built is kind of goofy, but that's kind of the point is you can build all kinds of planes and make them as simple as you want or make them really complex. And you can just have a ton of fun doing it because you can make Oh my gosh, so many different types of configurations. Hey, let's see what happens again if we do the, if we try and bring the gear. Are we actually gonna die like that or? Oh, I think we're, uh oh. It's like, hang on, I think that's about to hit our prop. Is it gonna hit the prop? Oh, wait, is it? No, it seems like it's okay. It's kind of wobbly. Oh, that's bad, that's bad. Gear, gear down, gear down, <laughs> okay. Whoa, hey there. All right, let's take it back to. All right, here we go. Let's 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 bring her down. Can we set her down? Can we set her down? Let's bring it in. And uh, let me hey, let me know in the comments below. If, is this boring to watch or is this like really interesting? Because to me, it's like super interesting, but I realize it might be kind of boring. So if we do make more of these videos, I'm probably going to do a lot of like speeding up of the possibly the build process and the flying process and that sort of thing. But to me, it this is just like super fun. Here we go, bringing it in. Pulling back on the stick. Oh, look at that. Mmm. Mmm. And you can hit B. That'll hit the brakes. Just like so. Man, look at that. That's great. That is fun. Well, hey, thanks for joining me. Uh, I hope this was fun. I know uh, maybe not everybody is going to be into this type of thing, um, but I sure am. And I just want you to be aware of this because this is a super great tool. Simple Planes is a super great tool to really, ju well, just for fun and to get your you know creative ideas out and maybe design something that you want to build like an RC version of. And you can really figure out a lot of the potential problems and just kind of test out the design in Simple Planes. It's just Oh, it is so much fun. So, hey, listen, um, thank you so much for joining me. And if you have any uh, suggestions about what to do or, or something that you think would be fun on Simple simple Planes, let me know. And if you want to see more videos about Simple Planes, do let me know also because there's a lot of fun stuff that we could do with this um, if that's something that you guys are interested in. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and I will see you next time.